Hello and welcome. Today we are performing a ritual sacrifice. It involves a watermelon and a big knife. Won't you join me? Okay, y'all. It is summertime. It is summertime and it is so, so hot. And I, for one, am sick of it. I miss the easy breezy fall days with the red leaves and the cool temperature. <laughs> so here I am, just a girl standing in front of the weather gods asking for an early fall. Is that so much to ask? In order for the gods to heed my call, I thought a sacrifice would be appropriate. We're going to make this watermelon into a jack-o'-lantern, just like in Gravity Falls for Summer Ween. It's symbolic, you see, of the summer turning into fall, as I want so desperately to happen. So I've got my stupid little Halloween shirt that I love to wear so much. I've got my most fallish boots on as well. You would never know what was on my feet if I didn't show you just then. That is just how committed I am to this ritual working. So here we go. I've never done this before. Surprise, freaking surprise. Um, I forgot to get a tablecloth to protect the table. Don't worry, I'll clean it up after. Okay, so I mean, the first step of making a jack-o'-lantern is to cut a little hole in the top. So I'm gonna do that. Don't worry, YouTube, this is actually a fake knife. This is actually a fake knife. So don't even worry about it. Well, I don't know how I'm gonna get this lid off though, because unlike a pumpkin, a watermelon is not hollow on the inside. Maybe I'll cut all the way through the watermelon and just take out the core, and then I'll have a little hole on the bottom so it'll stay upright. <sighs> perhaps, perhaps. I plunge my knife into the summer stand in effigy. <laughs> this is gonna be such a huge mess. This is gonna be such a huge mess. Did I get into, no. I'm not even close to the bottom of it. <laughs> I'm gonna try to just like, oh, oh, we're making progress. Wait, let me get a bowl for the watermelon uh, scrappings. Red like blood. Also the inside of a watermelon. Appropriate. <laughs> All right, you ready for this? I don't think you're ready. I don't think I'm ready. Oh, oh. Let me get a plate for this part because it's gonna be my lid that I put back on top. <laughs> you see what happens to my enemies, Summer? I decapitate them and I eat their brains. You better bring fall back right now, or I'm gonna freaking lose it, man. What's that? My sources are telling me it's still 105 degrees outside? You asked for it, Watermelon. This was your last chance at survival, and you've blown it. This watermelon is actually really good. I picked a good one, you guys. <laughs> so, you know, first rule of ritually sacrificing a watermelon, keep a little plate for its cap. You're gonna need that later and just like slice it off and put the rest in your watermelon bowl. <laughs> okay, so step two of ritually sacrificing a watermelon, like making a jack-o'-lantern, you must hollow out the inside. So I am going to get an ice cream scoop in order to scoop out its innards. Ooh. Actually surprisingly easy. <laughs> this does smell a lot nicer than gutting a pumpkin. That's point for team watermelon, okay? There is a lot more innards in a watermelon than in a pumpkin though, because a pumpkin's already like, kind of low-key hollow. Whew, this boy's filled to the brim with brains, brother. Ever since, I saw that episode of Gravity Falls. I have wanted to do this so bad. This is also fulfilling a childhood dream of mine. I fulfill all kinds of childhood dreams of mine on this channel. See the iCarly video. Maybe a spoon will be better, cause this, it's kinda hard to fit it in there. Cause the hole is a little small for this handle business. Okay, so I got a spoon, a big spoon, and we had this other kind of ice cream scoop. Maybe it'll fit better in there. Let's keep scooping. It's so juicy in here. Let me show you the inside. Mm. 
<laughs> Juicy. Spoon better? Spoon equal, oh, spoon equal better. Spoon equal better for the detail work. My table is gonna be so sticky. I was kind of hoping I'd get like perfect melon balls to have for people to eat. That ain't happening, Captain. We're gonna be here all eternity if I try to do that. I'm gonna be eating watermelon just shreds for the next seven weeks. <laughs> All right, okay, I think we're getting somewhere. I think we're getting somewhere. I'll tell you what, buddy, this is the worst way to cut up a watermelon. <laughs> I would not recommend you do this for your summer barbecue, but it has a nice echo in there. Ooh, oh, ooh, oh. You know, I thought this would take an actual eternity, but we're actually making very good headway. I'm not convinced this is slower than gutting a pumpkin, to be honest with you. <laughs> Is that the grossest thing you've seen all day or what? Just a watermelon birthing out its own innards. Okay, we still got a bit on the bottom to do. Everything is getting so sticky, my man. Everything is getting so sticky, my man. You know at like baby showers, sometimes people will make like, one time I saw a watermelon cut into the shape of a, like a baby basket and it was filled with its own melon balls. I feel like this is what I'm doing right now. Someone's having a summer baby shower and they wanted it to be Halloween theme and I couldn't get a pumpkin, so I'm doing it out of a watermelon. We are in really, really good shape here. I'm gonna dump it out one more time. Wow, the watermelon is so light now. I feel kind of bad for it, but I don't. You cannot feel sorry for the victim. cannot feel sorry for the victim. <laughs> it's still looking a little rough in there, but you know, it's gonna be fine. <laughs> I'm so afraid of dropping it and it shattering into a million pieces. That's my greatest fear in the world right now. The sacrifice bowl is full and our watermelon is ready to be carved. That sounds like a dodgeball. I am back in elementary school playing wall ball. Oh my God, I was the worst at wall ball. <laughs> Welcome to the carving zone. Okay, so now we got smaller knives. And we're just gonna put a happy little face on him. We're just gonna put a happy little face on this boy. <laughs> Who knew ritual sacrifice could be so much fun? Look at this happy little boy. <laughs> so happy to be a pawn in my ritual sacrifice. <laughs> this is my son, his name is Bruce. Bruce now has a name and a soul imbued upon him. It is now time for the ritual to commence. Lights. <laughs> this is so freaking dumb. <laughs> Now that Bruce's soul is complete, hear my cry, you autumn beast. With summer come and fall in the past, these sweltering days must not last. <laughs> you hear my cry, you hear my call, we want fall back once and for all. Do not deny us thy autumnal treat. Bring fall back, because it cannot be beat. <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. So there you have it. The ritual is complete. Hopefully we'll start to see a little drop in temperature very soon. <laughs> the gods may be able to ignore just me performing this ritual, but if enough people do it, the gods will have no choice but to listen to our collective cry for fall. Right? Right? So yeah, get yourself a watermelon, a melon baller, a spoon, some knives. Make yourself a jack-o-melon of your own. I would recommend it as a fun summer activity to anyone. It's a little sticky, but uh, that'll come right off. 
So yeah, that's all I had for today. If you liked this video, make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And remember kids, ritual sacrifice is cool. See ya.